Hello, family. What's up? How you doing? My name is Amazing Prosper. So today is a very great day. Today I'll be sharing with you guys how I traded this week as a forex day trader in Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, this week was a great week. So I'll be sharing with you how I handled my losses and how I handled my wins this week. This week is a great week. Promise you that. See you in the chat. Let's go. Come to the chart. So this is the chart for that day. So it was a very wonderful week. Yeah, you can see over here. See GDP JPY. Yeah, GDP JPY pair over here. Let me try the camera closer. You can see GDP JPY pair over here. Yeah. So it was a very great week indeed. I did something crazy. I wasn't doing the right thing, so it made me lose money last week. So I am on a drawdown right now, drawdown about three point something percent. I will show you guys at the end of this video. So this was my first trade. So this is for four hour. Okay, this is one hour time frame. This is one hour time frame. So this was my first trade here. So let's go back to fifteen minutes. So this trade here was a pure trade that I could have made money from. I think that this is my first trade that week. So this trade, uh, it affected my... No, I can't say that it affected my psychology, but I did something wrong that it kind of tried to pull me back, but it is what it is. I have grown past those things. So this was, this was the... See the move here? That was a retracement coming down from here. So I was thinking that the retracement is going to take... It's going to go down a bit before moving up so that's one of the things that you have to learn in trading you don't have to think for the market you have to be you have to allow the market to take action then you react that's why that's why it's called price action the price have to take action before you react that's how you will make money so here was a perfect trade that i took the this trend line you can see where this trend line is coming from from here hold on let me shift this guy so the trend line was coming from here. This was the first one. I take this as the first one, the second one, and the third one. So this third one, you can ask, why didn't I make money from this this thing? So I I didn't make money from here because I stuck in. I stuck in. Uh, I don't normally like using. I don't normally like using uh, all my trade once. I don't. I don't normally get it in once immediately. I like. I like dividing my trade like three, or sometimes five. So that day was a very wonderful day, very great day that day. Yeah, so I entered here, I entered somewhere here. So after this move, what I did was, after this move, this candle, I locked, I locked in my stop. My trade, my stop loss was somewhere here. This was how, how my trade was. So this was how the trade was. So what I did was this. Once the trade start moving on my favor, so I got in another trade here on this week rejection, this week rejection that was happening here, then I locked up my stops. So what the trade did was come back and take out my stops. You can see over here, take out my stop here. Once it took out my stop, then it start falling, start dropping. So, but I didn't get in again because this was in the night. It was at night, so I didn't plan to get in. So this was the first day. The second day was on Wednesday. You can literally see that this was on Wednesday. You see the time? See it here? Can you see? This was on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I did the same thing. I lost money on Wednesday. Yeah, I lost money on Wednesday. I was planning to say I adjusted my trend line somewhere here. Yeah, and it didn't work out. I lost money that day. I lost money here too. I lost money here to the same thing i was trying to sell from here and i lost money here again so crazy so here was a very great day that was around thursday i think so let's check if i'm correct yes thursday so it was this was a day that i did something that i hated because i didn't follow my trading plan i was a kind of yeah for me then i was right but after after the trade was over, I found out that I, I was doing the wrong thing. Yeah, this was how the trade was. This was how the trade was. So I was trying to catch this move from here. 
I was trying to try this move for me. After this push, I thought that the trade, this trade would never take out this low. So what I did was this. I got in somewhere there. I put my stop below the psychology level, which is below this swing low. So I didn't know that this trade would come back here to take out this low, take out, to take out everything that was here. So the trade came back and take out this low and everybody was out. So that was how I lost this one. That was how I lost this one. So what I did wrong, what I was saying that I, I did wrong was I could have waited for this trade to reach at this psychology level. Once we reach this psychology level, it shows a proper M, a proper M. So once I lost this one, I didn't plan to get in that day again. I just I was I was a kind of angry, so I left the chart that day and went and do other things. So when I came back that day, that was on Thursday last week, I saw this move. It was a very terrible. It was bit i was bitter like i could have gotten in if i was on the chart so because i saw this a proper m and i could have adjusted my stop my trend line maybe somewhere here to confirm the, the the buy so i could have made money from this move so i didn't make money there so on friday look at this day on friday let's 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 confirm if it's on friday yeah you can see this was on friday friday night so on friday on friday was another day that i did some terrible thing you can see i have so much bad cancel cancel that was a bad trade i lost so much on friday i lost about three percent of my accounts on friday so that was how i got into it i got into drawdown last week yeah so right now currently i'm 3.5 percent drawdown on my current account right now on my five five thousand dollars account but i know that i'm going to pass it very soon yeah, that is sure. Three percent. Three percent. I'm going to pass very soon. One single trade or two trade. I'm going to pass. So this was the first one I brought in here. I lost here. I lost here. I lost. So the reason why I was doing that was the reason that I did. That I was thinking that is the reason was this. I did. I did a very terrible mistake. Yeah, I know that whenever, whenever this tweet takes out a major high this is a four hours a major high this is the highest high that day that is going to reverse i didn't know that it was on that day that is going to do this move on monday that was when it did that move that retracement happened it wasn't that it wasn't on friday so i was planning i was trading in a i was trading in a mindset of that is there's some, something supposed to happen here and it was on a psychology level it didn't happen it didn't happen it didn't happen i was losing 0.5 percent 0.5 percent 0.5 percent that was that was about something dollars here that was where i was so bitter but it is what it is uh i've grown past those things yeah i will be bitter at that moment but I, if i leave the chart and come back again i come back as a fresh person yeah that was that is how i'm trading currently so this was how let, let me go on 15 minutes time frame so that you guys will see it clearly so this was the trade a very clear trade so this was how this was what happened that day so i planned as i lost this trade on london session so new york session i came back again i saw this move so the thing that i learned last week was i'm not going to be forcing trade anymore and secondly i'm not going to be getting in more than two trade for a day yeah I will never do that because i've gone to my trading chart and trading journal i found out that i was i'm, I'm my own pro. <laughs> i'm the reason for my losses so i have to adjust and relearn what i have learned so far by by what i've learned so far by doing the wrong thing yeah you know so many times we learn something by doing the wrong thing so i have learned that i am the cause of my pain i'm the cause of the some losses that i'm taking yeah, that i shouldn't have been taking like i could have lost only this one and rest for new york session then this one too yeah i know the loss couldn't have been up to three percent maybe highest two percent but it is what it is so so this is this was what this was what happened here what happened here was i was planning to get in for a say here immediately i got in i got in and i saw this move then i locked up my stop I stuck in from here. I was planning to get out. I was planning to, for my TP somewhere here. So the trade was the trade reverse and kicked me out. So that day was a very good day too. So it is what it is. So this week I haven't traded this week. So this video intro and outro was 
I shot all of them yesterday. I was shooting all of them on Friday. So you may hear me say um uh, on this video, you may be hearing me saying yesterday, yesterday, but please the video was shoot. I shot the video on Friday on Saturday last week. So I wasn't able to edit it and I wasn't able to shoot this one. So I'm doing it. I'm doing the completion of the video, which is the chat one, the chat right now. So today is Tuesday. So I didn't get in on this move because it didn't come back to, to psychology level. I could have gotten in here, but it didn't reach my zone. It didn't reach my psychology level. So I didn't take it. And the news was always closed there. So I don't want to take any random trade today that is not up to my trading plan. And so that's why I didn't take the trade. But the move was massive. You know, I regretted not taking it, but it is what it is this discipline will help me to stay disciplined and not violate my own rules and regulations so last week was a very great week i indeed it was a very great week i lost money but it is what it is it is trading so if you don't lose you won't be wise <laughs> so we lose to learn that's how trading works most of us if we don't lose we couldn't we couldn't if we don't lose, we couldn't have been doing what we are doing right now. We couldn't have been where we are right now. But the le the losses has taught us so much lessons that the wins. Yeah, the wins is going to make us my make us buy Lamborghini. Yeah, so uh shout out to my shout out to one of my mentors that I'm looking up to in the forest market, in the forest industry in nigeria happy forest he bought a new lamborghini the founder of consumer traders he bought a new lamborghini a very amazing guy and shout out to my own mentor jeffrey benson jeffrey benson jeffrey benson is my mentor jeffrey benson is my mentor shout out to him yeah he bought a new range rover range rover vela yeah right range rover vela that is my dream car since when i was small since around 15 around 13 14 15 i have been always planning that i was i have always been dreaming that one day when i make money i will buy range rover sports and i know that i will get it very soon that's why i will never give up on trading that's why i will never give up on, on my grind i will never give up on the hustling i must be putting i must put out the work i must put in the work yeah i lost this trade i lost all these things but i still come back on saturday to journal my trade to list to know what i did wrong and every other thing so this is a kind of motivation and i want you guys to believe in yourself and believe that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to no matter how long it takes no matter how how long it takes no matter what it takes as long as you are waking up every day and you are doing the same thing and you know that those things that you are doing is going to take you far how i judge my process is if I'm doing what I'm doing today, what I did yesterday, and I'm seeing myself progressing. Maybe I put a stop loss here, I put a trend line here, and the market come back to the test on those two lines. Okay, I'm doing the right thing. You remember, see, see this one? You can see something like this. Yeah, once I see this kind of a thing and the market to bear the trend line, I'm doing the right thing, I'm making progress. Yeah. So, all these things that I'm doing right now, putting out my journal, trading, journaling my trades and everything, I know that I'm doing progress, I'm making progress yeah i'm doing the right thing so the reason why i felt the reason why i lost this trade was i was trading against the trend and it is what it is after all i didn't blow the account and i didn't lose the proof i just i'm just only uh, about three point something percent down on the proof right now so but this week i'm going to get over it i'm going to pass it pass the proof or get out from draw the, for, from drawdown so that's that's it for this video so thank you so much see you in the next video god bless you yeah so how is the video i hope you like the video yeah this week was amazing week like a great week you saw what happened i i made some losses but i learned so many lessons seriously because why i have my trading journal right here this is my trading journal this is my trading journal yeah my trading journal my trading journal this is my trading journal yeah, I have I have all of them written down. What the mistakes you see, lessons you see. That this is my trading journal, and I have so many things written down here. So the lessons that's the lessons I was trading against the trend and also not with a clear mind. I didn't wait for my conferences to be complete. There was no weak rejections on my zones. You get that? So it was an amazing week. It was an amazing week indeed. I had some losses and. 
I learned so many lessons. It's either I make profit or I learn lessons. Lessons that I can be able to replicate and teach people not to follow. Things that I'm going to be teaching people. This is what I did wrong. This is what I this is this is was this was what I was doing wrong that made me not make profit or yeah make profit on time so that you guys may likely not to try it and this is the process and this is the process that i'm following right now because the day is this get yourself a trading journal it will help you it will fast it will help you fast it will help you fast and make, make you very more disciplined in your trading journal in your trading journey so once you get a trading journal keep record of what you are doing like i usually i always write down what i was thinking at that moment when I get in, I'll write down all my thoughts, I'll write down how I'm feeling, I'll write down my confidence levels. So get yourself this get yourself a trading journal and make sure that you are not lying to yourself. As a forest trader, this is a business that you are in charge. You are your own boss. If you lie to yourself, yes, nobody will flood you, nobody will cane you, but you are going to face the consequences. The consequences are you are not going to be making profit because you're lying to yourself yeah so this week trade like yesterday trade i was trading against the trend i wrote i wrote it down here i was trading against the trend and i was doing so many mistakes yeah so i have learned from these lessons and i'm not going to try it again whenever i'm going to trade before early morning every morning that i wake up i'll make sure that i go through my trading journal and find out some certain things that i was doing one that i will not repeat that day so that's the word of the day and also you know what it is Trust the process, never judge the moment. As long as you are doing the right thing and you are putting some certain things in place, yeah, you will, before you become 100% disciplined on what you say that you are going to do, it takes time, it takes process. Yeah, it takes time, it takes process. So don't ever feel like you are not doing the right thing and don't, it's very, I know it's very hard for us, especially we traders, to keep our journal when we are facing losses. When we are facing losses, it's very hard. Like, you going inside yourself and you know that you are the reason <laughs> you are the reason you are the cause for your pain it's very hard before you see someone that can be able to do those things but i'm doing it so i'm an example you have to follow what even if you don't want to follow me but you have to do what is right and so that you can also do so that you can get what is right and good here in the forest market so that's it for today if you are new here please consider subscribing and turn your bell notification hit that like button for your boy see you in the next video god bless you